before you begin, make sure the area is clear of debris. For curbless installation, make sure to recess the subfloor so it is even with the floor joist. Lay a bead of subfloor adhesive on top of the blocking. Then, install the plywood subfloor. Secure with nails. Next, drill a three-quarter inch hole at the drain location. First, remove screws and adjustment panel. Measure from the wall to the center of the drain and measure the overall shower width. Record these measurements. Mark and cut vertical support frame to fit. Then, connect the drain to the waste pipe with approved two-band coupling. Slide the drain body into place. Secure the vertical installation panel to the framing. Next, install one-inch furring strips to the rear wall framing. Then install the backer board eight and a half inches above the horizontal flange of the drain over the vertical installation panel and furring strips using two and a half inch screws. First, set quick slope panels in place. Mark and cut to size. Then, dry fit into place. Make sure the area is clear of debris. Next, using a 1 quarter inch by 3 8 inch square notched trowel, put down a layer of modified or rapid set thinset. Set quick slope panels in place. Press down firmly into place. Walk on the panels to fully embed into the thin set. Next, put down a layer of thin set on the exterior of shower footprint. Then, put down a layer of cement board to match the elevation of the quick slope shower panels. Press firmly into place. Walk on to fully embed into the thin set. Secure with approved fasteners per the cement board manufacturer. Prep the drain by removing tape. When installing transition tape, overlap flange by 1 quarter to 3 eighths of an inch onto stainless steel and 1 and a half inches over the fabric at the ends. 
and thoroughly cleaning the flange with Hercules for hands, acetone, or goof-off, remove all residue. Install transition tape along both sides and at each end of the drain flange. Begin by applying liquid waterproofing on vertical installation panels and shower floor, overlapping the foam insert. Next, apply liquid waterproofing to the inside and outside corners. Then, Place inside corners and outside corners into the liquid waterproofing while it is still wet. Place reinforcement fabric into the liquid waterproofing when wet, where necessary. Reinforcement fabric is to be used at all vertical and horizontal transitions and all seams in PET quick slope panels. Finally, apply a coat of liquid waterproofing over the entire shower pan and vertical installation panel and let it cure. Then, apply liquid waterproofing to the wall and floor transitions and over the seam of the rear wall. Start by measuring the width for the adjustment panel. Cut adjustment panel to size. Be sure to cut from one side to maximize magnet placement. Then, place it on top of the foam insert. After making sure it is level, secure to the studs with water-resistant screws. Once it is level, install provided screws in tile edging along with water-resistant screws into the framing. Next, apply liquid waterproofing to the height adjustment panel and wall board and install reinforcement fabric at the horizontal joint. Finally, Cut the liquid waterproofing at the edge of the foam and remove the insert. First, measure the distance between the walls and the ends of the trough. Next, Cut the extensions to the length you just measured. Install transition tape on the rear trough extension. Turn over the extensions and put a strip of transition tape on the back side of each. Apply thin set over the transition tape on the back of the extensions. Install trough extension so the end at the drain is flush with the drain body. Next, set the tiles on the floor and let it set up before working on it.
Measure the distance for the cover. Important, be sure to deduct wall tile thickness on each side. After cutting tile-in cover to correct size, place standoffs on either end. Place tile-in cover into position. Loosen the screws on the adjustment panel. Let the tile edging drop all the way down onto the top of the tile-in cover. Retighten the screws. Remove the tile-in cover and set the tiles on all walls. Then replace the tile-in cover into position. Place magnets into the tile-in cover. Then adhere the transition tape over the magnets, making sure all magnets are fully covered. The transition tape must extend fully across the tile-in cover. Set tiles in the tile-in cover. Finally, remove the tile-in cover, then grout and caulk the entire shelf.